Hello and welcome to the Wrestle Talk News. I'm Ollie Davis and I'll be replying to as many comments on this video as I can. There are more than 7 billion people on this planet and not a single one of them is as powerful as me. No, not the words of a generic Marvel supervillain, but the words of WWE's resident monster among men, Braun Strowman. This comes from a new video uploaded to WWE's YouTube channel of Braun Strowman's outdoor workout, which shows him doing everyday monster among men things. Dragging your deadly hammer through the woods, chopping down a tree with an axe, and then beating up nature and lifting its dead remains over your head. The Braun video is so good, WWE should have used it on one of their actual televised shows. The same can be said for making mid-card WrestleMania match announcements. Raw's interim general manager, WWE's official Twitter account, has already announced that the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal and the Cruiserweight Championship matches will take place on the WrestleMania pre-show. And now the social media authority figure has revealed ladders will be present in the Raw Tag Team Championship match this Sunday. We all kind of guessed that already by the feud suddenly using ladders on this week's Raw, but the announcement would have been a lot more exciting if made on the actual show. During that ladder beatdown segment, Sheamus was legitimately busted open when being struck by the vertical climbing apparatus. WWE have uploaded a video of the Celtic Warrior receiving 15 stitches for the injury just above his eye. But because of PG, it's all an independent art film black and white. To satisfy our rampant bloodlust, Seamus has posted some graphic before and after photos in full living ginger colour on his Instagram page with the caption, Walking under a ladder is bad luck. Turns out, running into one ain't so lucky either. But was his injury actually worth it? Not really, according to the ratings, which while up to 3.292 million average viewers from last week's disappointing 3.048, is way down from last year's Go Home Show's 3.77 million. That's almost half a million people who've just stopped watching since WrestleMania 32. Five years ago, on March the 26th, 2000. 12, the last WrestleMania Go Home show before Raw's three hour format began drew 4.44 million viewers. The episode didn't fare much better in your Raw ratings, with 56% of you agreeing with me at average, while 26% of you thought it even worse at poor. You can watch my full review of Raw in about four minutes right here on Wrestle Talk's YouTube channel. Give me a cheap pop in the comments. I know what'll turn around WWE's fortunes, the return of former Divas champion and Zack Ryder bullbuster Eve Torres. PW Insider are reporting that WWE is bringing in Torres to Orlando for WrestleMania weekend, most likely to appear at the Access fan event. However, there's also a possibility she's amongst the female stars from WWE's past that the company have reportedly been contacting for something big at WrestleMania. Along with the other heavily rumoured names, Kelly Kelly, Lita, Victoria and Maria Kanellis. With the SmackDown Women's Championship match being intentionally vague, having Alexa Bliss defend her title against every available woman on the roster, it's been speculated that these former WWE women could be surprise entrants. Ones which, if they are happening, have also now been relegated to the pre-show. Watch my full review of that Go Home episode of SmackDown or find out Wrestle Talk's WrestleMania 33 predictions for the blue brand by click in the videos to the left and subscribe. I've been Ollie Davis and that was wrestling.